Lads, <clears throat> we are one step closer to being post-browser. We are one step closer. So already, okay, firstly, pre preface in case you haven't caught up with the story so far. I'm addicted to YouTube. Can't stop looking at YouTube. Don't want to be using websites. Don't like websites. I like a terminal, right? Uh, <clears throat> don't want to be giving Google my information. All of this shit. Tip typical, etc., etc. type stuff, right? I'm addicted to YouTube. I want to minimize the psyoping that YouTube can do to me through its interface. I want to be able to spend... I want to watch... Only the things I want to want to watch. I want to want to watch, right? I, w I don't want to want to watch things I don't want to watch. Do you understand? YouTube and all of these other social media platforms are very good at making you want to do things you don't want to do, right? And I am very susceptible, not to most of them. Facebook, Instagram, for example, didn't do that to me. Back when I had the Instagram a long, long time ago, same with Snapchat, a long, long time ago, I had a both an Instagram and a Snapchat. Neither of those were effective in making me want to do what I didn't want to do. And I ended up not using them anymore. And Facebook too. Although for a while it worked, but eventually I deleted it. You know, this is a long, long time ago, by the way. I'm talking when I, this is back when I was like, you know, 14 or something like that. So those, those are gone. Um, <clears throat> other social media sites like Twitter. Twitter isn't that good at making me do what I don't want to do. It's, uh, it's not that good at it. It's, it's better than most I will scroll Twitter from time to time, but I have enough self-control that I, I, when I was getting a, a bit too addicted to Twitter, I deleted my Twitter account. Well, actually, I started tweeting the N-word at CNN repeatedly until they deactivated my Twitter account, because I knew that was the only way that I would st stop using it, is to get banned. So I, I wanted to get banned, so I just, every day would tweet the N-word at CNN until they banned me. <laughs> right? Um... And now I have a Twitter that's just for no thank you, and I don't follow that. I don't. I only follow like art, artists and musicians. It's it's a it's it's not something I could spend a lot of time on because I don't. I only follow like thirty people or something. So you know, even if I wanted to scroll Twitter all day, I would run out of posts relatively quickly. The only site that I can't seem to kick, and that really, you know, I will just spend out. The other day, what did I spend hours watching? I spent hours watching like, fucking. I, I don't remember. I, I, I will just spend hours watching related videos on YouTube. It's just terrible. It's terrible. Um, and so I wanted to kick that habit. And I also want a YouTube that works better for me. So the YouTube website is bloated and shit. The YouTube player is not very nice. You know, lots of issues with the YouTube website. It doesn't work very well for my needs. I want to avoid the YouTube website, do everything in the simplest way possible with as little you know, intrusive stuff as possible, as little going towards Google as possible, no ads, you know, etc. And so the ideal would be able to, would be to have a list of just my subscription feed on the command line. Now, I've tried many things to try and get this to work. I've tried various command line utilities. Uh, None of them have either, either they haven't worked or they haven't been quite what I was looking for. I've tried third party um, front ends for YouTube. Again, they either haven't worked very well or they aren't quite what I'm looking for. Eventually, I ended up just trying to set up YouTube in my browser in a way where I could use YouTube minimally. So playing videos in MPV and just sort of scrolling my sub feed. Again, it worked. Not perfect though, because ideally wouldn't even have to open the browser. Being post-browser is the goal here, being post-web post, post -web browser. So obviously the final solution to this problem, didn't mean to say it like that, <laughs> whoops. Um, the, 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 the proper solution to this problem is an, is an RSS feed. Um, YouTube made it much harder to do RSS feeds and I've spent a while dicking around with it, trying to get it to work. And guess what? The conclusion is finally here. Oh, first of all, the first thing I did a while ago is there's an, a nice command line utility or a nice program called YTFZF. It uses F, FZF Fuzzy Finder to, you know, search YouTube. Uh, and I have that implemented with the menu, so I can just use a, sh a nice shortcut and I can search, you know, search for, I don't know, let's use a uh, Dotesmite as my example. 
I can search for Dolt Smite in D menu, and now I have. Oh, look, I can I can select. The, oh, the re most recent Dolt Smite video shows up. Nice. And then it will play an MPV. Everything is nice. But I can't. I'm subscribed to like a thousand channels. I can't remember every single one of their names, and so that's not very efficient. So an RSS reader is really what I want. And it took me so long to figure out how to fucking do this because they do not want you doing this. Um, and a lot of the things that are, that are, might work. So for example, YTF Zedef also has a subscriptions feature where it can manage some subscriptions. What it can't do is manage a thousand subscriptions because what it does is it, it manually goes to each page and checks. So when you, if you have a thousand channels that you're subscribed to, it has to basically check a thousand. It's very inefficient and it, it fucks your computer and it takes ages to load. So an RSS reader is the ideal. What I'm saying is I've finally gotten it to work with Newsboat. Newsboat. I type it in and bam, I have all my YouTube channels loaded in on a fucking RSS reader. Now, the first thing you might ask is, is this in chronological order? Because that's a problem. It is not in chronological order until I simply press GL, which will now sort it into upload order. Whatever's most recently updated will be at the top. Now, I'm sure I can edit a config file somewhere and make that by default, but I do not have that set up right now. Another thing you might notice, the colors, uh, not very readable, not very pretty. Again, haven't done that yet, need to fix. Need to fix this ugly blue on bright blue on pink. Not not a good color scheme. Um, I would ideally like it to be sort of monochromatic because you know that works well. Just give me a nice gray bar and keep the text white. That will work. That's all I need. So I'll I'll do that in a second. I have I, I've only just gotten this set up. Uh, but thanks to the help of uh, Install Gentoo on YouTube, uh, I have managed to set up Newsboat. To do manage my subscriptions. So again, let's go. Oh, looks like Dotes may upload a new video. Oh, Pitch, Pulp Magazine, The World of Yataport. Okay, I now have a, a keybind, which is colon M. And that will, as you can see in a second, open it up in MPV. And now, oh, let's see what's going on with Dotes May here. Oh, my headphones are plugged in. There we go. Interesting. Now, we have a search function and a subscriptions function without having to open my browser. The only thing I don't have that I would like to have is a way to visit someone's entire channel. So for example, if I go on Dotesmite, I can see her 15 most recent videos, which is nice, right? But sometimes, oh wait, you, can you scroll, can, oh no, never mind. This will just scroll down my entire feed, everyone's 16 most, I mean 15 most recent videos. So that's. That's somewhat interesting, but the point being, sometimes I'm like, I have nothing to do. I just want to binge old Simple Flips videos for a while, right? That's something I do quite often. I've run out of, so as you can see, I've, I've actually seen all of the most recent videos that I want to watch. Um, so, you know, I, I maybe right now I'm like, I want to just go through a bunch of old Simple Flips videos. Well, Sadly, there's no way to do that in an RSS reader because it's just loading a feed of their most recent videos, not, you know, their entire channel. Um, and as far as I'm aware, there, there isn't a nice way to do that in the command line in any of the utilities that I've seen, um, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so I think if I want to watch YouTube channels or playlists, uh, I'm still going to have to use the YouTube website for those two things. Maybe there's a way to do playlists, but I don't think there's a way to browse someone's channel, um, you know, without using the browser in a way that would actually be usable. Other than those two things, which are, those are less important. Those are like things I use less often than searching and subscription feed. The, like searching and subscription feed are the main two functionalities of YouTube. It's like looking up a video or checking on the videos that have been released by the people I'm subscribed to are the two main things that I use YouTube for. It's less often that I need to actually visit someone's channel or watch an entire playlist. So I'm okay with doing those two things on the YouTube website if I have to, because you know, it's, it's okay. It's not, it's, it's not perfect, but it's okay. But here we go. This is the final 
uh, step in my journey. Now, this hasn't been tested in combat yet. This hasn't been tested in combat yet. I haven't seen what happens if someone actually uploads a new video, if it will like show up automatically when I start Newsboat, if I have to reload every channel just to make sure, like just to check if someone has uploaded a new video, because that will suck. If I have to, if I have to reload, because that takes a while. Remember, there's a lot of chat, like if I have to reload every channel, right, this, I'm doing it now. As you, I just press the button, um, as you can see, it's going to take quite a while to do, um, to check every single channel. Now, fortunately, unlike um, YTFZF subscriptions uh, feature, uh, you can see it's it's barely using any RAM. It's the 13%, 20%, like 8%. It's, it's not using any RAM at all, really. It's, uh, whereas if I was doing this in YTFZF, it would be using 100% of my RAM, uh, and also it would probably take much longer. Uh, but still, this is taking a long time, and I don't really, you know, it's not ideal, is it? Uh, so I may, I really don't want, I really hope that I don't have to do this every time I want to check if someone's released a new video. Because that would mean doing this multiple times a day. So I hope that it will just, you know, when I start up Newsboat, there we go, it finally finished. No one's uploaded a new video, as far as I can tell. Um... So I hope that every time I start up Newsboat, it will automatically check for updates. I assume that's how RSS feeds work, <laughs> is that it will automatically do that. Um, but I don't know. So probably tomorrow we'll figure this out, because tomorrow when I wake up, I will run this and see how it, how it functions in the battlefield. Uh, but for now, we have something working. We have a way that I can look at my subscriptions without having to fuck with the actual YouTube website. Isn't that just marvelous? Now, it does make my life slightly harder because if I want to subscribe to a new channel, I can't just press the, the subscribe button, which is a very easy way to do it. I have to add it to a big text file on my computer. I have to go to their URL and add it to a big, it's a bit annoying, it's slightly annoying. But, I think that's a reasonable trade-off because it's, I'm not subscribing to that many new channels, especially if I'm not going to be seeing the recommended videos tab, I'm not going to be subscribed. You know, I, I do this a lot where I will just like subscribe to someone on a whim. Um, and then the next day when I see their new video in my sub feed, I'll be like, fuck you. And then I'll unsubscribe. I do that a lot. So that, this, that, that will be completely, that'll be a struggle that is completely cut out of my life. Isn't that nice? Now, I don't know what the fuck this error message is with MPV. Um, fucking cannot find main star for any supported scripting backend in home lane MPV scripts, MPV sponsor block. I don't know what that means. Because MPV, like, you would expect with an error like that that MPV sponsor block wouldn't work. But it is working. So I don't know what that's about. Um, also, this, uh, the tracks changed event is depreciated and will be removed. Uh, when? Because <laughs> you've been saying that forever. So I don't know when that's going to happen, but but uh, but those are just a, some minor error messages. The main point being, I got the RSS feed thing to work. Isn't that neat? Isn't that cool? Um, yes, the answer is yes, it is cool. And um, do I recommend everyone else do this? Uh, not everyone else, but it wasn't actually that difficult. Once you know how to do it, like if now that I know how to do it, if, if you asked me to do this for you, I could do it in five minutes, probably, because it's very simple. It's it's actually very simple to do. Uh, well, <laughs> it's somewhat, it's not too difficult uh, to do. It just it is a little bit of fumbling in Vim. It's, uh, I, so first thing that happened is I, I forget how I did this, but I, I, um, Ah, yes, I remember. So what you do is you go to your Google account and you go to Google Takeout and somewhere in a drop-down menu somewhere you can export a takeout of all your YouTube subscriptions. But it also has a bunch of other shit in it, uh, like their channel names, channel description. It has a bunch of other bullshit in it, some formatting information. It has just has a bunch of shit in it that is just junk data that you want to get rid of, but it also has their channel names and, you know, their channel URLs. So the first thing you have to do is run a script, and I didn't write the script myself, I found it on Reddit somewhere. Uh, you run the script, which will turn that file into a file which just contains a list of all of the channel IDs in that file. Then you run the script that I showed at the end of one of my videos, 
uh, or run not a script, the, uh, a Vim macro. So you open that in Vim, run a Vim macro that I showed at the end of one of my videos that will format that entire document correctly into the you know the the right link that is an RSS feed. Then you run another Vim macro because as I found out, firstly there will be some duplicates, so you're gonna want to do uh, sort. I think it's sort U in Vim, which will remove all the duplicates. That's that takes like literally one second to do. It just does it instantly. And then you want to run another macro, which is very simple, uh, because you will have your own channel in that list. For some reason, the Google Takeout document has your own channel listed, like every other line or something like that. So you just run another macro that you know either deletes every other line or you know I did it where it uses the find command, so it just find, and then a bit of my channel URL, and then dd j. That's the macro. Uh, it's pretty, you know, straightforward. Just run that on the whole document and it will delete all the... Now, now you've got a perfectly form in, formatted thing. Then you just op you put that into your, you know, however whatever RSS reader you want to use. I'm using Newsboat, so that will be the dot... You just copy all that text, put it in the dot... Or it, put it in the URLs document in dot Newsboat. And um, then open up Newsboat, press refresh all. That'll take a while, but hopefully that's the only time you ever have to do it. And then bam, now you have an RSS feed of all the channels and it will automatically do the names and stuff. That was one of the things I was worried about. Um, it automatically, as you, you can see, how every channel has a uh, the, their name properly linked. Um, that, that just happens automatically, which is also nice. Uh, so there you go. That is that is how you get an RSS feed to work. Uh, YouTube RSS feed to work. The only slightly annoying thing about it is, um, you know, having to add new subscriptions URL manually. But that's not really too much of a big deal, to be honest. Because again, you're not subscribing to people. It's not something you're doing every day. It's like a special occasion. Um, so there you go. We're slowly becoming post browser. Just woke up. Now, unfortunately, it does seem like I have to reload my entire thing to get the new items in my feed, which is a bit of a shame, but I should only have to do that a few times a day, right? Should be fine. Um, yeah, it's working pretty well. Um, I did realize something just before I went to bed, I didn't have time to fix it because I went to sleep, but um, I realized something which is that I fucked up somewhere along the way. Um, like, m after removing duplicates, and hey look, here we go, oh, a new Harsh Noise Pain Stop video. Nice. Let's see what we got. Um, favorites and people are more complex than a list. Trash can, Big Macs, and Relentless Stimming. Crabs be crabbing. See, this is, this is what it's all about. Let's watch this one. I wonder what, I wonder if this is a response to my video. It might not be, but you never know. So, no thank you. There we go. I knew it. No thank you, I've loaded a video. See? This is called knowing someone. This is called friendship, my friend. Google it. <laughs> anyway. Um... But yeah, uh, I, I checked my URLs for file. Hold on, I'll show you. Um, vim dot fucking news. Oh my god, newsboat URLs. So if I go to the bottom, you see it's not, it's 496 lines. But I'm subscribed to about 700 channels. Now, this whole time I've been saying I'm subscribed to about 1,000 channels, um, I used to be subscribed to about 1,000 channels, and I just forgot about the fact that I, I must have... I, I remember uh, there was one day where I went through and, like, uh, cleaned up... I just spent, like, an afternoon just listening to music and going through all of my subscriptions and unsubscribing from as many people as I could. Anyway. Anyway. If I go on YouTube and check, I'm subscribed to 700 and something. So, clearly, uh, something's gone wrong here, because there should be 700 and something lines, not 496 lines. So something has gone wrong at some point in the process, and I don't know where in the process something's gone wrong. The obvious example would be 
Yeah, I would say I can't undo it. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, the obvious example... I haven't even had caffeine yet. The obvious example, the obvious possibility is that I fucked up at some point while cleaning up this file. So, removing duplicates, because originally, for some reason, every... I don't know, it's weird. I think I might have fucked up really early in the process, like, like when I was exporting it or some... I don't know. So, I'm gonna... I, what I'm gonna do... This shouldn't be too difficult now that I know what I'm doing. Uh, what I'm going to do is start right from the beginning. I'm going to start from completely from scratch. Um, because I don't know which point along the chain I fucked up. So the, my only option is to do everything again. Uh, not that I really mind that, because again, it shouldn't be a hassle now that I actually know how to do it. should be relative. I should be able to do it in, uh, pretty quickly. Um, so my, my idea is to basically start right from the beginning and uh, do everything again. And hopefully this time, I, I don't know how I managed it, but I not delete everything. <laughs> uh, what have I done? See, I'm fucking hitting the... My fat fucking fingers hitting the wrong fucking buttons. Um, anyway. So it's working-ish, <laughs> is the point. Uh, like, it does work, as you just saw. I can go on Newsboat. I, I, all I have to do is, you know, reload everything. But, um, I do have, like, now look, I have all of the 13 videos that have been uploaded today right here, and I can watch my Sonic... I don't know what this fucking is. Let's find out, shall we? Oh, it's, uh... Someone buying something expensive in Sonic Forces Speed Battle. Just in case that's copyrighted, I want to turn that off. Oh, this motherfucker buying... Buying Lancelot Tails. I mean, Lancelot Shadow. Sir Lancelot. This wasn't in the game when I was playing. Oh, he's maxing it out. What? That's ridiculous. This guy's incredibly autistic. It takes a long time to get that many rings. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm glad I don't play that game anymore, because uh, that is not a game that is worth sinking as much time into as you can sink into time into it. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, look, I uploaded a new video. Which, up, which video? Oh, this is the on favorites one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have videos scheduled. What, time, what day is it today? Sunday. So, so, I have one coming out tomorrow, that's scheduled, and then I have my Monday video, which I'm very excited for people to see, which is my, my scripted video. And if that goes well, my plan is to, to do a video essay every Monday. I don't know if I'll stick to that, but my plan is to do a video essay every Monday, like a written, not necessarily an essay, but a written or more high effort video every Monday. Okay, I went, I've, I've redone everything from the start. We have the correct number of channels now, 748 channels that I'm subscribed to. Um, I'm currently just reloading all of them. And uh, hopefully, this should work. Hopefully, we should now have an actual RSS feed of my entire YouTube subscriptions. Because uh, previously, uh, yeah, I I basically just I don't know exactly what I messed up, but I messed something up as to where it wasn't um, it it didn't have I I must have deleted some of the channels that I was I don't know how I managed that, <laughs> but I must have somehow not had a full list of channel URLs. I don't know what I messed up before, but this time it seems to have been done accurately because that is the correct number of channels that I'm subscribed to. 748. So hopefully after this is all done. Let me, let me do a quick clear. Does take a while. Does take a while. This is not heavy on my my RAM, so that's a bit of a pain. Definitely takes longer than just uh, opening up YouTube in a browser. I suppose. Oh, is it done? 
is this everything? Oh, I can just go into the unread articles. Now I have all of my... You see, there's duplicates. I don't know why the fuck there's duplicates. Why are some of them listed twice? Why is simple flips three times? I don't understand. I shouldn't have duplicates in my URLs file. That's so weird. Why are there duplicates? Let me check my URLs file. See, this might this might be what happened last time. Is because there were duplicates. I ran sort you, and maybe that somehow fucked everything. All right. Well, let's try this then. Um, hold on. Uh, is there some way I can make this? Yes, they have a tripod. Hold on, I'll just... Right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna have to reverse this clip and everything. Let me see. So what am I doing? Um... So I have this YouTube Vim YouTube DL chest. So this is just a list of all of the channels correctly formatted. Now let's run sort U. I think it's U or is it dash U? Um, it's dash U. No? Sort U. There we go. See that just deleted 253 lines. Right? So I'm pretty sure we have no duplicates now. But the problem is we're missing, we're, we must be missing a bunch of channels. Because this is what happened last time, and now I don't have the correct, like... What is happening? Alright, let's try a different one. I've been looking on Reddit. I mean, I'm looking on Stack Overflow. Oops. Um... This. Colon percent exclamation mark unique. Colon percent exclamation mark unique. See? It just did it. And it didn't delete anything. So why is there duplicates? What? Or whatever this is. Let's try this. I don't know what the fuck this is, but let's try it. Oh god, I don't have... I don't... It's not going to paste properly, is it? Um, I just have to type it in by hand. Uh, percent S slash up backslash Brackets dot star back. See what the fuck is this doing? This is baffling. This is actual. This is no longer Vim commands. This is just magic. Where were we? Backslash close brackets. Backslash brackets. Backslash and backslash one. Backslash close brackets. Backslash plus. Dollar sign. See, this is this is wizardry. This is no longer a Vim command. This is just wizardry. Plus dollar sign slash backslash one slash. Like I understand that this is the find and replace command because it's the percent s thing, but I don't. I suppose we try this. No, it didn't work. Maybe I typed it wrong? No, I typed it right. Uh... Oh no, I... I did type it wrong. Still doesn't work. Okay, well that's a failure. Let's try, um... What 
What's this one? Orc space single quotation exclamation mark x dollar zero plus plus quotation okay space and then my file which is called uh, uh, I forgot YouTube YouTube DL dot txt. I don't remember exactly what it is. I can't remember that. So let's just say fuck it. Um, wait, what have I just done? Wait, what was it? Exclamation mark unique. Oh, percent, estimation mark, unique. Alright, that should still, like, so clearly this is not a problem, because we've just done, like, three different tests to see if this works. Oh, maybe go to the head of the file. Sort the whole file. And then remove entries with unique. Oops, what have I just done? Okay. One, oops. One G. What, what the fuck have I just done? One G. There we go. Uh, exclamation mark. What the fuck? Exclamation mark G sort. Is that is that a command? I suppose so. Um well that didn't that doesn't seem to be a command. Is it what the fuck? Is that a thing? Okay, I've sorted everything. Yes. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that was a command you could use. Uh, I don't know how this is sorted it. I suppose in alphabetical order. Yeah, there are duplicates. There's fucking duplicates. Why are there fucking... See, I can see now there are fucking duplicates. Even though I ran unique, there are fucking duplicates. Why are there duplicates? There shouldn't be duplicates. Which means it's not getting all of my subscriptions, because... If there's 748 lines and some of them are duplicates, then they're not every single channel. So the problem is... Fuck. So the problem... is either with the script... There's two possible areas where the problem could be. With the script, that... Oh, okay, it's either with the Google Takeout form, which is somehow producing duplicates, or with the script I'm using, which I found on Reddit, to properly format that Google Takeout form. So I suppose we should start right back, because I didn't start back from the beginning of making a fresh list of all the channels. But clearly that's where the problem is. The problem must be that the list of all my channels... Actually, I did start out by making a fresh list, but I mean a fresh list from Google Takeout. I just took my existing Google Takeout file and use that. But maybe there was a problem somehow, I don't know. Um, this is very strange. So, okay, I'm going to start from complete scratch. I'm going to start from complete scratch. I'm going to go to the Google Takeout thing. I'm going to export my YouTube subscriptions. And then, maybe I should just write, instead of using the script on Reddit, maybe I just write my own, my own Vim, Vim macro. Because I should be able to do that. It might be not very efficient. But I'm going to write my own Vim macro to do the thing that the script does, which is clean up the the file. I'm sure I can manage that. Um, 
I'll find out. Because I don't know if I trust that, like, if, if that's the problem, then it's that fucking script that's the problem, right? Or on, I don't see how the Google takeout file could be the problem. Um... Right, I'll do that off camera. Okay, I've re-exported my Google takeout file and I think I may have discovered the problem. What the original bash script that I found on Reddit probably does is just use a find for channel ID to find the channel ID. But the problem is, look, the channel ID is listed twice here for some reason. I don't know if it's like this for all of them, I haven't checked yet, but look, the first one, which is not just bikes, is the channel ID is listed fucking twice. And why? And then my channel ID is listed. That's my channel. I recognize it because I've deleted it a million times. So then this is the next one. It starts with... What? So it starts with content details, I suppose, or there'll be a, I suppose this square bracket is probably the start of the document. I don't know if that happens every time, turn the brightness down a bit, or the exposure rather, or the exposure compensation rather. Okay, for some reason that, okay, that's weird. Anyway, so what we need is these lines. We need just the channel IDs and nothing else. But for some reason it's showing them twice. Is it like, I wanna know if this is actually every single channel I'm subscribed to. Like what if it's fucked and it didn't? Cause I might go through all of this effort only to find out that it's not. What, every single one is going to have, okay, slash content, I'll do this off camera. The really annoying way that they, they that Google have format, chosen to format their document, because it uses the channel ID tag for both my channel, i.e. which channel is the one that's subscribed to the channel, and the channel that I'm subscribed to. So to, to reference which channel ID it is, they're both... Like, if this was, it would be so easy if this was the, like, it was just called user channel ID or something like that. But because they're both called channel ID, I have to fucking do what exactly? I suppose the easiest way to do it would be to run one macro that will delete everything that's not a channel ID. Not sure how to do that yet. We'll figure it out. Um... I suppose what I could do is just, oops, I always get capital G and GG fucking mixed up. I wonder when I'll stop doing that. So here's an idea. If I go like QS to record something. So if I go into visual mode, then search for channel ID, that'll do that. Then we'll go forward, word, word, and then like, and to there, then delete all of that, then word, word, oh, but that's not going to work for every single one. Fuck. What do I do? I suppose I have to then go to the next. Okay, never mind. Undo. Okay, so... Okay. Visual mode. Then search for channel ID. Then we'll go to the end of that. That's going to be, this is going to be the same every time. Then delete it. Then find the next quotation mark the next quotation mark should i mean yeah because you'll never have a quotation mark in the middle of a channel id so the next quotation mark will always be that and then x 
hopefully, if I finish recording, it should just now, starting from there, delete till the next channel ID. So if I then go at S, oh, but they're just going to be in a big line, aren't they? Also, I don't know why they're fucking highlighted. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Why are they highlighted? Why? I don't understand why they're fucking highlighted. It doesn't make any sense. What, what does the highlight mean? What does it mean? It could mean anything. I suppose I just have to... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, to, we'll try this again. V slash channel ID. Then end of word, end of word, end of word, end of word. Then I, I suppose X is the best button to press here. Then search for the next quotation mark, insert, press enter, exit insert mode, and then do it again. There we go. That did something. It's doing, it, it is seemingly listing channel IDs. And every other one is going to be mine. Um, Alright, let's see how this works. Hmm. Oh, epilepsy warning. <laughs> I'm sure this is not the most efficient way to do this. Ah, it stopped. Why is... Oh, it's already done a thousand. Alright, let's try doing a thousand more. Oops. Oh, we've done it. We've done it all, I think. Oops, that's not what I meant to press. There we go. Okay, so, in theory, this should... I don't know why they're highlighted. If anyone knows why the fuck these things are highlighted, then, you know, feel free to explain that to me. And now we just have to go back to the beginning. So many of these are going to be duplicated. So first let's do a sort U. There we go. That should have deleted all the duplicates and sorted them. Okay. Now I'm just going to quit and restart. Just hope... No, that didn't delete... Why is they highlighted? Why are they pink? Explain to me why they're pink. Why are they pink? Also, is this right? How many lines have we got? We can find out, right? I mean... 496, that's not enough. It's not enough. So something's wrong with my exporting. Something's wrong with the Google, because I'm pretty sure that there's no way that would have deleted any channel IDs. Because anything that wasn't, yeah. There must, I'm pretty damn sure, right? So 
So there must be something wrong with the ex exporting the Google takeout document because this is a fresh, freshly exported one. But it, it must not be listing every channel because this is supposed, this should be every channel I'm subscribed to, but it must not be because if it was, we'd have 700 and something, not 400 and something. I, I already had, oh fuck, I already wrote it. Whoops, that was a bad move. I shouldn't have written it out because now I can't fucking uh, written it, read it out and quit it. I should have just done, I don't know what I should have just done. I don't know why they were highlighted. That, that was just annoying me. This should be a feasible list of all the channels I'm subscribed to, but it's not, is the problem. The problem here is that it's not that when it should be that. Right? That's the problem here. <laughs> We've identified the problem because I should be subscribed to way more channels, hundreds more channels than 496. I should be, they should be 700 and something. And if we open up the, um, then dot new a fucking bitch dot news about URLs, right? And we go to the bottom of this. And then if we were to actually hold on, I, I opened the wrong file. Uh, if we open this file, right, and this is the the uh, I run sort you on this to remove all the duplicates. We should have if I've done this correctly. If the problem is the Google Takeout doc, like the JSON file then this should also have 496 lines. 494, close enough. I'll call that close enough. So the problem is that it's exporting a bunch of fucking duplicates. That's the problem here. Because I'm pretty damn sure I did that right. If I, if I made some obvious mistake, point it out to me in the comments, but I'm pretty damn sure I did that right. Probably not the most efficient way to do it, but I'm pretty sure I did it right. So... The problem must be in the original document that I'm using. It, unless I did it wrong. But I don't see how I could have done it wrong. Because every time a channel ID is listed, it's going to be pre pre prefaced by the word, the tag, defining it as a channel ID. And then all I did was delete the ones that were duplicates. So, and sort them. All I did was sort them but in alphabetical order and delete the ones that were duplicates. So... If, I, if that's all I did, then it must be that, for some strange reason, YouTube is not giving me a full list of all the channels that I'm subscribed to. In which case, I could probably check that by using another... Um, I could test if that's the case, because I've plugged my... my I can plug my... The, the original YouTube export file, the JSON file from Google Takeout, I can plug that into a program that can read it natively, like FreeTube. So if I if I install FreeTube again, sudo, let me put you in a fucking thing. So I'll install FreeTube again, sudo pacman s freetube. Okay, because this can take the native JSON file. Okay. Here we go, free tube. This profile has a large number of subscriptions. So if we check on fucking Newsboat, which ones it's not counting. Compare it to my actual subscriptions page. So the one it was missing that was obvious to me was Draga1, because that's one of my favorite channels and it wasn't showing up. So we can check if FreeTube is showing the latest update upload from Draga1, then the problem is not the JSON file. It's something I did and something the Reddit, the script I found on Reddit did. If FreeTube doesn't show the upload from Draga1, then the problem is the JSON file. So this will not show the upload from Draga1. 
because it's not listed because it was deleted. It, it, I don't know why, but it's not listed in my big text file of all the URLs. But if FreeTube shows the upload from driver one, okay, let's see. It did. It did show it. So the problem is not the JSON. The problem is something I did because it showed it. And this doesn't have access to my Google account. It only has the JSON file with all of my channels that I'm subscribed to. So Drago one is in that JSON file somewhere. Something I've done to try and clean it up and format it has deleted Drago one's channel from the list. Why? How? Let's find out. Let's find out by opening up the original JSON file. Okay, we don't need any of this. Um, CD, CD downloads, uh, YT stuff, and then it should be in here. Alice, uh, okay, then subscriptions.json. Oh, fuck. I was editing that the whole time. Fuck. Okay, let me, let me open up a Duna, because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, here we go. Subscriptions. No, that's not it. Let's just, yeah, this is so we can delete all of this. This is the original zip file that Google Takeout gave me. So if we extract this to my YT stuff folder. So this should be without any editing. This should be now. Oh no, never mind. Um what? The fuck have I done? Why is it opening in the wrong terminal? Have I not got my terminal set correctly? Alright, well fuck it, it doesn't matter. But this is correct, right? So hold on. Fucking bitch. CD downloads, let stuff. Okay, Vim subscriptions.json. Okay, now we have, this is the original subscriptions.json file. So now let's go for Draga1. Draga... Did I spell that right? Oh, it's case sensitive. Not found. Somehow his name's not being listed. Hmm. What's his channel ID? It may be it's channels that have not their channel ID listed, but their name listed. Drug, what? This is so strange. Yeah, see, it's it's the newer format where it's youtube.com slash C slash and then an actual human readable name rather than a channel ID. How do I find this person's channel ID? Um... Well, let's look it up. How to find channel ID of YouTube channel. Oh, this is your own channel ID, but how do I find someone else's channel ID? You have to view the source code of the channel page. Okay, let's find out then. So, oh fuck, I forgot how to view the source code in Cube Browser. Um, all right, let's open it in Firefox. I have a Firefox open. Um, okay. Uh, view page source. Okay, so what is it? I look for external ID. Oops. So this is it. You see 
yeah, youtube.com slash channel. So this is his actual ID. So now I have to find in my document this. Um, so what is it? Use seven I one G capital U seven I one G capital U seven I one G capital U not found. Hmm. Now that's strange. Now that's very strange. Now that's very strange. Why is that not found? Huh. Okay, that is strange. This is the only one that's the external ID. YouTube.com. So wait, let's check that this is actually correct. So copy this. What the fuck? So wait, if I if I just do youtube.com slash channel. Is that correct? I don't know if that's how the YouTube root URLs are formatted. We don't need this open. See, okay, so that's correct. So why the fuck is it not in the fucking thing? That's the channel URL. Judo.com slash C slash Druaga1. just li wow they don't use a blacklist they use a whitelist to list every single country that a channel is available in wow that's a really stupid way of doing things that is an incredibly stupid way of doing things wow classic youtube moment they they literally list out by hand every single country that was well, not by hand but they list out by fucking initials every single country that a channel is available in instead of doing it as a blacklist is that, like, why would you do it that way? That makes no fucking sense. Surely that just makes it way more bloated. Look how many fucking channels it has to check, how many countries it has to check. It has to check every single one before it will display for you. Wow, that's bloat. That's, uh, that's fucking awful design. Um, hold on, I'm going to move this over here. Oops, wrong, wrong one. Okay. So let's try this again, just to make sure. You see dash... Seven... I... One... Not found. Not fucking found. You see dash must exist somewhere, right? Yeah, that's gonna exist. Obviously, so it's you know no channel with UC seven. So, but it should be in here because this should be the same fucking thing. That what? How how is this possible? How is this possible? I don't understand how this is possible. The plot fucking thickens. FreeTube isn't doing it all of my subscriptions either. What the fuck is happening? Why is this not working? 
FreeTube isn't doing all of my subscriptions either, because I found a way to select all subscriptions, and when I select all subscriptions, it says 475 selected. It should be 700 and something selected. So it's just... but FreeTube is missing different subscriptions. <laughs> Hold on, let's compare. Let's compare the FreeTube... the FreeTube, um... Uh, sub feed with my YouTube sub feed video by video. Yeah, FreeTube. Okay, no, wait, that's a stream. I'm missing Tasmalio. It's got three clicks, Philip. No, it doesn't have two clicks, Philip. It doesn't have two clicks, Philip. It's missing two clicks, Philip. And it's missing Harsh Noise Pain Slut. So it's missing div- how? What? <laughs> Why is it? And it's missing Mumbo Jumbo. It's missing a bunch of channels too. Why? What the fuck? What? What? I just never noticed it because I haven't used it seriously. I haven't done a comparison, but it must have always been like that. What the fuck? The problem must be somewhere, somehow, in that Google Takeout document. For some reason, it just doesn't list all of your subscriptions. Why? What? That's the place where I assumed, like, oh, well, this is, like, an official Google API thing. There's no way this is broken. Maybe it's just broken. I, I, it's, I can't tell if that's broken or everything that uses that is broken. Is it... Have, have I... Have I premature... Is it... Have, is it too soon to go post YouTube? Because, like... Hmm... Sorry. Ah... Uh, it must be missing channels, because I searched for Jurago ones channel ID, and it wasn't in the document. So it clearly doesn't list the channel ID for Jiraga1 anywhere in the document, which means there's no way for me to get that channel ID out of the document. What I need is a big list of all my channel IDs. If it's not in that document, then it's not in that document. Is there no way to do this? Is there only, like, half assed ways to do this? Do I have to manually? Every day, if every day I open up Newsboat and I open up my sub feed, and every day I check, I compare the two, that's going to be a lot of... I'm just going to give up on doing that quickly. What the fuck? Because that's hundreds of channels I'm subscribed to that aren't showing up. It's just not po it's just, I assume, not possible to do this, at least this way. Because that Google Takeout document, which is literally supposed to be a list of all, it's literally called, like, export subscriptions or something like that. Like, it should be, by all in intents and purposes. Hold on, let's try this again. It's literally called, you select the button which is called subscriptions, you press OK, it literally says subscriptions, your channel subscriptions in a machine readable format, that's what it says.
Right, I'm going to do a new export of this. This might take a little bit. A new, new Google takeout. Brand new, fresh one. Okay. That's done. We'll download this. It's going to ask me to sign in. I've signed in. We'll download that. So open it with M Mgram File Manager. Save it. Somewhere easy. Now let's open it in Vim. CD YT stuff. No, whoops, wrong, wrong one. CD downloads. Right, okay. Vim subscription.json. Okay, now let's search for Draga. Maybe I just spelled his name wrong. No, I didn't. Because <laughs> that would be embarrassing if that was the problem, but you never know. So, Draga, aha! This time, Draga one's in here. And this one seems to have way more lines than the last one. See, this one has 22,000 lines. And I, maybe the last one also had 22,000 lines. This is fucking confusing. This is extremely confusing. The last document, it was the same document exported from the same Google service, and when I searched for the channel that I'm subscribed to, it didn't show up. Why? I don't know. Is this every channel I'm subscribed to? Maybe every time it just leaves out a random number of, tr number of channels. Do you know what I could do? Do you know what I could do? What if I, on the whole document, unformatted, run sort you? It would be much easier to see all the channel IDs. Should list every channel ID. I can then check the line of the final channel. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Now I have to find ch channel ID. Okay, so now... Let's just, oops, fuck, I definitely did the wrong thing there. Okay. Oh, fuck, I did it again. So, <laughs> so what the fuck I'm doing wrong? Well, I mean, I do know what the fuck I'm doing wrong, but uh, I don't know why I'm doing it like this. Okay, delete all of that. Okay, so now we can see, if I look down all of these, it should be about 720 something, I think, channels that I'm subscribed to. So, we'll just scroll to the bottom of the thing that is sorted to say, so this is now, this is perfect. See, this is what I should have done from the first time. I don't know why I made this way, the first time I tried to format this document, I didn't sort it first. Instead, I should have sorted it like this, then just scrolled to the bottom and then deleted everything that wasn't in this list. That's a way better way of doing it. I don't know why I didn't think of this at first. Um, see? It's only listing 485 of the channels that I'm subscribed to. But look! There's more down here. What? Oh, but they're in... What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, what? It didn't sort it very well. Why? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I guess these are what these have one less tab. Um, these are ta these aren't the same. What the? F this is so fucking weird. This like this document is not internally internally consistent.
publish that. Okay. Descriptions and the channel IDs. Except for one, which is my channel. That's fine. But why is it not listing all of them? Because clearly it's not. It's not working. So it must be the document. It has to be the document that doesn't export. When you export all your subscriptions, it just doesn't export all your subscriptions. That must be the problem. Like, the, I can't see any other reason why this wouldn't be working. Um, like, the only thing I can think of is... No, I can't even think of anything. That has to be it. It has to just be a problem on, on the, the end of exporting the doc, like the actual original file that I'm, you know what they say, garbage in, garbage out. The, uh, the input must be garbage because it's not, it's not anything I'm doing wrong, right? I just looked through the whole fucking document and all of the channel IDs, which is what I need, they're not there. It doesn't give you all of them. It only gives you a, a you know, a random handful of them, and it seems like it's different ones at different times because the I I used one take Google takeout uh, form for uh, Minitube. I mean, sorry, FreeTube, and I used a different a different one, which I ended up turning into the document that or formatting for for RSS. So I I exported it twice for two different things, and both of those are not showing different channels. So it must be just a random hand, it just selects a random handful of channels to not give me. Why? I don't know. That's fucking annoying, because this is the only way to automatically get all of your channels listed, as far as I know, is this Google Takeout thing. And so if this doesn't work, there is no way to do it, and I'm not doing it manually. Uh, it's just not happening. And I'm not, I mean, I'm, maybe if you're really smart, you can write a scraper that will, you give it, you know, it will just go through each one and copy the URL. But I am not good enough at programming to do that. Well, I'm, I don't know anything about programming. Uh, wow. That's fucked. That's really fucked. Why does it not work? Like a... That's, there's nothing I can do about that. If it's just something that's broken in the document. I mean, unless it's something to do with the sorting thing I'm using. So I'm... Unless the deleting duplicates is... Th no, because look, now there's loads of duplicates. Now it's going to have the correct number of channels, but loads of duplicates. I can see them. There are loads of duplicates. What the fuck? done. I don't know what I've just done, but I seem to be pasting thousands of lines. Stop, please. Nothing is stopping it. I am just locked into this now. I could just kill all I'm not going to, because that will create a fucked up swap file that's going to be a hassle to delete. I mean, it's not a hassle, but it's mildly annoying. So I'm just letting this paste thousands of lines. This, not sure what these lines are. They have something to do with YouTube. No idea what. Nothing I'm doing is stopping this. 
Control C, that normally stops a running process not working. And now it's Uh, I don't know what I've just done to this file. Very strange. Oh well, I seem to have undone it. Okay, well, this is just fucked. I'm not even going to continue fucking with this because it's just fucked. I just guess that I can't do this unless someone has a way. Unless anyone in the comments... Like, this is... This is obviously what's happening, right? Is that... I, I can't think of any other explanation other than the takeout document you get from Google. If you don't know what that is, it's, it's not even really meant for public consumption. It's meant for, like... You know, it's like an API, it's not an API thing technically, but it's meant for like data harvesting. It's meant for data harvesting, essentially. And I think it might also be a GDPR thing, I'm not sure. But it will export big machine readable chunks of information about your channel. And your Google account in general, actually, not just your YouTube channel, but all of your Google account. It will export big machine readable information about your Google account. And you can export a big machine readable JSON file on your YouTube subscriptions, but clearly it's not fucking correct. Clearly it just doesn't give all of them if you are subscribed to over a certain amount of channels. So that's the only way nowadays after they removed the export to, you know, you used to have the subscriptions manager and you could just export there, but you can't do that anymore obviously. So this is now the only way to export large amounts of data about your subscriptions. And this is what programs like Newpipe, programs like Minitube, programs like Freetube use. You see, with all the duplicates, it's the correct number of lines. It's 746, which is the amount of channels I'm subscribed to. But that's full of duplicates. Unless... No, but this isn't correct. I was gonna... No. No. So why is it duplicate... That's such a weird thing for a program to do, to not understand something, and so it's like, well, I know I need this many, like, this is the only thing I can imagine, is whatever scraper on Google's side is finding the amount of subscriptions you have uh, and listing them all, it's, it must be, it knows it needs, it first checks the number of channels you subscribe to and says, oh, 746, then it makes 746 spaces, and then it tries to fill them in with channels, something goes wrong, it can't find all 746, so it just duplicates the ones that already exist to fill up all the gaps. But while miss that's the only explanation I can think of, is there's a bug in the program on Google's side, which is exporting all of these things, which does that, which fucks up, knows it needs 746 entries, but also, for some reason, can't access all of them, so it just sends duplicates. That's the only thing I can think of. I can't think of any other reason why this wouldn't be working. Can you? Can, like, that's the only, because this is the raw document. This is just a sort it. All I've done is sort it in alphabetical order so that I can see all the channels in a row. So how the fuck, what? <laughs> that's so annoying. I was so close. I was so close to being able to do this. I literally was one step away. It was, I, I, I was, yesterday I went to sleep like, just gotta fix this minor thing. I'm, haha, <laughs> I must have fu- Silly old me, I must have messed something up when I was trying to format all of these documents. Silly old me. No, it turns out it's fucking Google's fault and there's nothing I can do about it. <sighs> this is, I guess this is the end of the, the RSS optimal YouTube um, saga. Unless I want to, I mean, unless I can learn to use Google's API, maybe there's another way to do it. I don't know if I even want to do another way to do it, because if if this goes wrong, maybe the other way goes wrong too, and then will it even be worth it?
like I know because I was reading about it on Reddit when I was researching this originally, I know that there is a way to do this not with Google Takeout but with Google's API. To do that you need to generate an API key. To get an API key I think you need to like apply for one, like they won't just give it to anyone. I think. And even then, I don't know if that will actually work. Alright, well, I'll go and do some research, but for now, I think I'm going to call this the end of the saga, for now, because... Clearly something is wrong.